Good morning, my name's Nick. Welcome to Borsalino Carpentry. I'm prepping for a big storm and um, I run a plow truck in the winter and so today I'm going to be going over how to hook up a Fisher plow. Now my plow is a Fisher Extreme V stainless steel and uh, so I'm going to go through how to hook it up and how the thing works so you get an idea of my preparation for a storm. First thing you have to do is to hook up the controller. Now there's only one way that this goes in. You can see here there's a certain shape on it with this little uh, there's like a little um, indent on the bottom on that side so what I've done is I put a little mark with Sharpie so I know how to line it up every time I don't have to guess. This won't light up yet until the plow is hooked up. Next thing we gotta do is get the truck lined up with the plow. On the truck, you'll see there's these openings and this, uh, this pin that sticks out. That pin goes right into this slot here. Okay, so we've got that lined up. Next thing I want to do is hook up all my power. Okay, so my plow has three hookups here. And you just, they only go on one, so you just hook one up. All right, so now that we got that hooked up, we're gonna go back in the truck and put it into float mode. So I'm gonna turn the power on on the plow light comes on and I'm gonna hold down all the way until float comes on and what that does is it releases all the hydraulics so that this plow won't be fighting me when I'm trying to push it on and you can tell that it's all hooked up because all the lights are on and it shuts the lights on the truck off this next part can be tricky so we have to push the plow onto the truck and these pins in here are going to try to get into that hole. So lift up on this bar which releases these pins and they're held by a spring in here so they won't go in by themselves until I push. So if I pull that back out, it pulls the pin right back out. All right. Now this is a common problem, you know, whatever the plow might be settled or something. So I'm going to try to pull the truck up a little further. And we'll give it another try. So you can see right there, the pins are fully engaged into the mount on the truck. And I just want to check both sides, make sure, and it looks like we're good to go. And one thing you don't want to forget is there's a jack that holds the plow when it's not hooked up to the truck. So when I put these pins in, there's this thing that's, uh, keeping the jack you have to pull that out lift the jack all the way up and it'll set itself but then it has to go into that now that keeps everything locked in so until I pull this the jack can't go down and also the truck is locked in so it can't pull off of the frame all right so now that I've got the plow hooked up I just like to test it to make sure it's working properly so if I push up on the controller the whole plow will go up and then there's a scoop right here on the top left corner. Top right corner is retract. And then the bottom left corner is the left wing, which you can activate by itself. Bottom right corner is the right wing. And then also if I have it like this, if I push side to side, I can move the whole plow as one. And now that I'm hooked up, I think we're good to go. Bring on the snow. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, I'd love to hear them. And uh, enjoy the snow.